Hi, my name is Corinne. Welcome to my channel. Uh, and today we're going to cover Henry Margu's, um, uh, I totally forgot which one I'm doing. It's been so long. This is very unprofessional of a YouTube movie person. Harper, Harper, and they call her 131GR. I don't have her on my head today because a lot of us aren't familiar with Henry Margu. This is my first, actually I got two Henry Margus when there was a sale going on and I've never tried them before. I've heard good things. They're hard to come by. Not every company sells them. From what I understand, Henry Margu was supposed to specifically be for um, brick and mortar stores, but it seems like they have branched out and um, you can't get all their pieces everywhere. Not every line color carries all their colors and all their styles, so you gotta look around. It seems like they are starting to branch out more. They don't have sales all the time. It seems like I've seen a few more sales recently. Maybe they are trying to expand their brand and appeal to the masses. I don't know if COVID caused that or what, but you know, either way, we benefit from it. So I thought I would show you if Henry Margu is any different in how anything is presented compared to all these other brands. So here we go. This is the box. Just like every other wig box. This is how it came. You know, I, they put this circle in I help just to help shift the hair. It's to keep it in place from getting that box hair. Um, they safety, they bobby pin it to the sides for placement all so it doesn't um, get box hair. Get this color, you guys. Oh my goodness. And Harper, I've seen look good on a lot of people. So Harper has this extended nape with, doesn't feel like it's got metal stays. Mine doesn't anyways. Velcro adjusters. I like those better than the bra strap adjusters because Believe it or not, certain bra strap adjusters can loosen up and then you're wearing your wig and all of a sudden it came undone and you're like, what the? So that's the pro with those. This is wefted, um, metal stays in the velvet ear tabs, lace front. We'll see how good their lace front is. Now, that's what she is. Now you guys know I'm bougie with my wigs and I like fancy wigs. Why did I get this one? Because I just, I've seen a look at on everyone and I just, just had to see for myself and I got her on sale. So I was like, what the heck? Look at this color. Eee! Okay. So yeah, no mono top. Um, so, so far, you know, presents like every other wig um, brand that we see. Mm, this looks awful on me. So, she's got, so let's look at this lace front, you guys. That, lace front, then all my hair's stuck underneath, is beautiful. Um, I think this is crooked on me. Ah, uh, that looks really good. Uh, so my opinion is that Henry Margu has great lace fronts. Now, this had got a root and I figured, like to me, I think if you're going to get a wig that does not have a uh, mono top, you need a rooting to hide the wefts. So I got this piece because I think thought, you know, to hide the fact that there's no lace front, you could do something like that, like a little bump it piece. But then you just have to be careful that you don't expose the wefts in the back when you do something like that. So you got to play around with it with your mirrors and whatnot. Make sure that can work. So that's why I thought I could pull this piece off. I think I saw it somewhere. It's been so long since I looked at videos of this piece. Um, that is a very dark root. 
I'm gonna say that's like damn near black. <laughs> Didn't know that. So, oh, Henry Margu. Let's talk about Henry Margu because their color examples suck. They're awful. They're awful, and that's why I'm not happy with this color. It looks like Kool-Aid hair on me. I might look better than somebody else. But I I like these waves. I with the bang like this and everything. Maybe it's growing on me. I, with the right makeup. I even put pink lipstick that's wearing off for this. I mean, look at that. You can totally put it off the face. It looks great. Oops, that's my hair. Uh, now, the lace front ends right here. So you could, see that? Break that up a little more. You know, just to break it up. So when you put it back, you don't see that stripe. If you want to make it look extra real. At this point, I'm confident enough in my wigs. And if someone knows, they don't care. So, um, if people see that little bit of scalp and baldness right there, they're fine. They're not going to be like... It's when they can't see that. It's a stark line right there that people start digging. And they're like, you know, checking yourself out. So, this color is obviously not a natural red. Not a natural red at all. This is a red that is too red for me. I know people that would look great in this wig and when I sell it I'm gonna go find them because this color I love. I Will I get another Harper different color? Absolutely. I want curls like this. I love this. But this color on me looks awful. Absolutely awful. So I don't, this color, it's, it's a very deep, it's a, this is like, if it's not 1B, it is pretty darn close. It is a dark rooting. The density too is great. Like, oh, look how cute that looks. Um, the density is great. Look at that. And the lace ends right there. So temple to temple. Um, it's thinner here. It's hard to get a wig that is so thick up here like John or Zara, that makes it hard to do an ear tuck. And then it's bulky everywhere. But this one is a great ear tuck. The fibers feel amazing. Now this piece, because of the waves, you you have to finger comb it throughout the day. That's just what it is. But you know, my daughter, my daughter, she doesn't have curly hair like this, but my daughter has actual hair on her head and her hair gets tingly all day long. And I had thin hair that still was on my head. I had to comb it all day long. So just because it's a wig and you have to finger comb it doesn't make it faulty. Because people with hair on their head still have to do that. So just keep that in mind. But these curls, this feels very soft. Not wiggy at all. Someone could be, you know, touching your hair. I mean, it feels a little billowy up here. But it's just to hide the wefts and you can give it some volume. I totally want Harper in another color. I love this. I love this. I love it. But this color just is not me at all. Whew. But yeah, you can get volume. Look at that. You can totally get volume right now. But I love it. These side sweat bangs. Oh, so cute. So cute. So yeah, she's gonna get she's gonna get sold. But do I recommend Harper? Absolutely. You know, you just this is one of those pieces where you can continue to just fluff it back like that. Use some hairspray, you know, hide that. But because you can see that scalp, it's not gonna be as big of a deal. But if you don't like the volume, you might not want to get this wig. The density is light, but you can get volume. So, good Texas hair. Anyways, let me do a spin. <clears throat> okay. One more time. Good lace front. And look at that. The knots are tiny. I do not feel insecure in this. My, as much as I loved my John Renault Alessandro and the solid caramel, the Rudy of Six, 
those knots, even dusting them up and everything, I did the best could, but it still would make me feel insecure. These do not at all. Even with that dark rooting, that just looks dang fantastic. So anyways, I totally recommend this piece, but I'm not a fan of this color. I'll have to get another Harper and review her. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, like and subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you want. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer. Uh, have a good day and I'll talk to you guys soon.